Today we continue our in-depth look at the candidates running to represent you in Washington. We're focusing on Congressional District 4, where incumbent Republican Robert Adderholt faces a challenge from Democratic nominee Rick Neighbors. Today's topic, do we need police reform? And if so, what exactly does that look like? We're going to start with challenger Rick Neighbors, who says the recent tragedies point to the need for police reform, but he also says it points to other issues that also need attention. Who you elect as mayor, who you elect as attorney general, um, district attorney, who you elect as your sheriff, who you elect as your city council members, your county commissioners. These are the people that define that culture in that neighborhood. And if you get a police officer in there, this uh, sheriff in there that says it's okay to mistreat some people, then those officers will mistreat those people. We also talked about whether there should be national standards for police officers when it comes to police training. I think it's kind of like the military. It doesn't matter what state you come from or what country you come from, we all get the same training. We all have the same standard. And once you have a, a, center, a standard to refer to, then you adopt a collective view of what justice looks like, what justice means, what equality looks like, what justice means. You can go back and refer to that training. Congressman Robert Adderholt says that he believes there can be a minimal standard in place, but he also says he's reluctant to have national mandates from Washington. He says there are ways though the federal government can help. There's, I think, some things that could benefit. The FBI could come in and do some training for a lot of these local police departments that would welcome that. So I think maybe you could have a, a uh, offer a programs that a lot of these counties and cities that are strapped for money that they would not normally have the ability to participate in that this they would uh, be able to apply for grants and get this uh, training that uh, I do think is is good overall. The congressman tells me there is room for reform. One thing he brought up was the use of body cameras. These body cameras are something that that protects not only the officer, but also the individual that, uh, you know, the victim so to speak, uh, in, in any situation that uh, our alleged victim. Uh, and I think we could have more, a better program of getting money out there. Both candidates talked about their support for the use of body cameras during our conversation. I also asked them whether they should be required for all officers nationwide. You're going to hear much more on that and more of our conversation coming up later this week.